good one. Yeah, dude, this is a good one. Oh man, I gotta come over there. Oh, come on, stay on. There he is. Yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got, we got fans over there too. Nice. That's a nice one, hey? Jeremy, didn't you just say there wasn't anything under that dock? I said I was surprised there wasn't. Oh, surprise, surprise. All right, I'm going back in the lake, buddy. There you go. I probably should have took a picture of that one. You need a net here? That's a nice fish. Stay down, stay down. Oh man. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Nice fish. That's oh, what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Woo! Can you hold that? Can you hold that over by its belly? Nice job, Henry. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. We just got out here, and we already crushing them underneath these docks. You got this one? You hand landed or you needed a net? I can get it. This one's a little smaller. I'm gonna have to retie after this. Yeah, but it's smaller. You took it too. Because I had one on in a totally different spot. One just hit yours? Yep. There you go, buddy. Thanks for the battle. Okay. This could be a five inch fish or it could be like 20 inch fish. I have no idea. It's all kinds of weeds. Is it gone? Is there no, still a fish nope. there? He's still there. Are you sure? Yeah, he's balled in there, I think. Yeah, he is. I see. Oh, the there trap. is a fish. Let's see what we got. There. I did, I did get a fish. <laughs> Hey, it swims. When they when they have five pounds of weeds, they feel a lot bigger. That was still cool though. All right, buddy. See you later. Hey, what's up, guys? Taking a quick break in the video to show you guys how we're catching these fish. And before I show you guys that, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Jeremy. Jeremy bought me this pretty sweet fishing shirt. Um, it says "Fighting the Fish" on it. It's got my name on it. He also bought one for my son Leo. Jeremy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. Um, super awesome shirt. So hey, I am throwing a yum dinger and I'm Texas rigging it. I'm using a three-aught Gamagatsu um, off-shank worm hook. Now, do you guys like using the actual Cinco's, the Gary Yamamoto Cinco's? Um, I haven't noticed much of a difference in my catch ratio with those and the Yum Dingers, and the Yum Baits are so much cheaper. Uh, I can buy two or three packs of Yum Dingers for the cost of one pack of the Yamamoto Cinco's. So, man, you guys have to comment and let me know. Am I missing out by not throwing the more expensive lures? I don't really know. But on this trip, I did pretty good throwing the Yum Dingers. So all I'm doing is I'm Texas rigging it. I've had videos before showing me Texas rig stuff, but I don't know if you guys can see this, but here we go. Hooks going into the worm. And this worm is like a half a worm. There was more to it, but I don't know. Maybe I broke it off while I was fishing. So here we go through the hook. Boom, just like that. And then I plop the hook there. And I wanna make sure that it's hanging nice and straight. Okay, so um, I see people, can I even do it wrong? I mean, I, I don't know. See like stuff like that sometimes, that's not, that's not good. We want it hanging nice and straight. I like these Texas rig hooks for dock fishing. 
they're really aerodynamic they can kind of get right underneath those docks um, so I like I like these for for dock fishing for sure I'm also using braided line uh, we're fishing on Fox Lake it's not a very clear lake and I like the braid because I can feel the bites really good and not only can I feel the bites um, but also uh, since I'm using a 40 pound braid here you know when it, if the fish gets wrapped in a dock or something like that I, I'm not going to break off as easy where if I'm using like a monofilament line and it gets wrapped around a pole in the dock or a ladder or something like that a lot of times the line will break another thing that's super important when you're dock fishing the docks are always going to be staggered there's going to be a line of docks and then there's going to be a middle area with no docks and there's going to be another dock and then there's going to be no docks and there's going to be a middle so what are you going to do in between going from dock to dock to dock if you're only fishing those docks you might be missing out on some really good opportunities for fish that are hanging out in the middle there uh, sometimes i'll throw the cinco right in the middle but i generally like to throw more of a search bait there um, so I'll throw something like a spinner bait or a minus one, something along those lines. In this video, there's a lot of um, vegetation around the docks, um, some slops, some lily pads, things like that. And so I'm throwing the fighting the fish frog. And now this really pays off for Jeremy. He's throwing a frog also uh, in between these docks and this clip coming up right now and he catches a real good one. So, all right, here we go, back to fishing. Don't flip them in. Don't flip them. Where are you at the day of my turn, you bastard? <laughs> Dude, you're gonna flip that tank in the boat? My first one of the day. Yeah, buddy. That's a beautiful fish. Here we go. All right, guys, it's pretty windy here. We're switching spots in hopes of getting out of the wind. Does my hair look okay? You think my hair looks okay? For the video. People are always commenting on how nice my hair is. Is that a good one? Yeah. I told you there was a bass under that dock. They're under every dock. It's big. Um, I'm going to hand land them. Maybe. He's hooked good. Oh, come on. There. Ha! Every dock. He's eating good. Yep. Box. Every dock has a bass. Unreal. Dude, this feels like a good one. Well, it's not that good, but it's good enough. Double header! That's what I'm talking about. I got a good one. Do ya? Hold on, hold on. We gotta get some footage of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's pale as heck. Yeah, just hold on. Let's get a double hunter picture. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Double header action. Hold a little closer. We make it look bigger. Oh, it's a pike. Look at that. It's a long one. Long and skinny. He hasn't been eating very well. So we're bringing in a pike right now with a big head and a long body. Usually that means they swallowed a hook sometime. You know, this one might have got hooked to ice fishing or something like that. Let's hold him up. Yeah, he's real thin. Yeah. And that's why there's not a bass. Not a super healthy pike, but again, there's a fish under every dock. That one just happened to be a pike. Later. 
Oh, off. Catch and release. Well, fighting the fish family. I think we could catch bass under these docks all day. And I think we have actually. We actually have caught bass under these docks all day. But I think it's time to make a run to another lake. So I think we're gonna head out to Big Green, see if we can catch uh, maybe different, some different fish. Does that sound like a plan? Should we do it? Yeah. It's a little windy. Yeah, well man. Okay. Last to one. Big Green. Yo guys, we just arrived on Big Green Lake. You know, we're launching the boat right now. Oh, there's like white caps out there. There's like big rolling waves. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna try to figure out something. There's a little red button on the side. Yep, got it. It's recording. All right, GoPro didn't turn on, but nice work, Jeremy. I, I don't know if this is a really big one. Really Slow it now. Fish. Fish. Oh no, it's off, it's off. Oh no, oh no. I don't think it's a big one, but it's a trout. That's all that matters. You get one. Is it coming? Yeah. Little guy. Smallest one. <laughs> at least you're not skunked. Nope. He's feeding. Oh, oh, look at look at that tank bass right there. I probably won't use that clip. No, it's something smaller. Rocky. Rock bass. That's a Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh, oh, dang. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. All right, you guys. Well, if you can see this, because it's a little dark right now, that is the end of our evening. We caught rock bass, regular bass, lake trout, pike, multi-species. Do you guys know how to do my outro? You'll learn it right now. It goes like this. Catch you next time on Fa 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 Fa